Al Yankovic makes fun of movies and low-budget TV in the comedy UHF. It's one of the new movies we'll be reviewing this week on Siskel and Ebert, along with a virtually hidden John Travolta movie that's now on home video. I'm Gene Siskel of the Chicago Tribune. And I'm Roger Ebert of the Chicago Sun-Times. Our first movie is named UHF, and it stars Weird Al Yankovic, a comedian who's been successful for the last 10 years with his parodies of hit songs and music videos. Unfortunately, he is not as successful with the challenge of a full-length movie, and UHF adopts the shotgun approach to movie comedy, Yankovic firing everything and hoping that something will hit the target. The plot is basically just a clothesline to hang the gags on. After Yankovic's uncle wins an obscure TV station in a poker game, Yankovic is hired to reprogram the station, and after dismal ratings, he offers the janitor his own show. Okay, kids, where you want to go? The show is a hit, but the station needs other new ideas, like this one, for a new game format. Tell me what you think. Today, one of these lucky contestants will win his or her weight in fish right here on Wheel of Fish. Yankovic's specialty is the parody, and here he takes on the famous opening of the first Indiana Jones movie. This movie seems literally willing to try anything to get a laugh, which may explain this scene. And not too many people know this, but the turtle is also nature's suction cup. Watch this. Do you see that? It stinks! Huh? Sticking the turtle to the ceiling. One of the many problems with UHF is that Yankovic never makes a commitment to stick with his original story idea. The movie is sort of about how he wants to run his own TV station, but then it goes all over the map with parodies of movie ads and TV satires that don't fit into that story format. We never know what the underlying reality of this film is, and so maybe there could be a funny movie about running this obscure station, but we find out here that UHF is not it. Well, the show that was so great at parroting fringe television was SCTV, which mm -hmm. week after week, year after year, came up with extremely funny material. Mm -hmm. And this film, how many jokes do you think he attempts? Maybe 200 or something like that in the course of the movie? I wasn't counting. Well, how many laughs? That was easy to count. None. 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 Not one for me. No, I, and I think, you know, there's a thing when, when movies start having show signs that are supposed to be funny, that's when they really get desperate. And this picture does that a number of times. I, I didn't laugh at a single thing. I was flabbergasted. Well, the movie violates uh, one of my little laws, the, the first law of funny names, which is that any movie that uses funny names in an attempt to get a laugh is probably in desperation. You mean like Weird Al Yankovic? I think that's, I think that's his real name. Yeah, Weird was his given name, right. <laughs> Next film, it's called Valentino Returns, which is the name a young man in the 50s.